Hello, the painting behind me is three quarters of the way through. One more video to go in the series for Autism Awareness Month. This letter, Dear Solitary Man, What happened for me to be so isolated? I created an island, which is not what one is supposed to do. I suppose I prefer to be a man apart. It happened because of abuse by people so awful, resulting in a lack of trust of others. It happened because I was isolated by my disability, a disability that is often quite invisible to others until a trigger is touched, and Venus fly traps have nothing on me. The concern of others I find intrusive because I think by being friends, it will fix things. Such shallowness deserves the contempt it deserves. It is like being asked personal questions by strangers. They try to involve themselves like leeches and those horrible grubs are only after one thing. My boundaries are stronger these days as I attack breaches in my walls with a direct approach. No prisoners are taken. This has happened because no one is seldom on my side. I am always immediately wrong. They jump into blame mode or allow their own insecurities to take over. However, I am not needing anyone but myself. Always being unmoved by the crowd, and I am a mad creature free of the need to impress and please. Those that are sensible to richer feelings recognise in me a defiance, the sort that brings walls down. Emotional involvement with others is like sugar to a diabetic, dangerous in large doses. Instead, through my writing and artwork, I discover and record the facts of my existence. People who live with the sounds of silence have small need of companionship and are most comfortable alone. I am a cat person and like the feline, I am self-contained and do not require constant interaction with others in order to enjoy their experiences. My Asperger's gives me an apparent indifference to pain. Pleasure is in the detail. As an Australian, I am socially isolated because of geography. This is a big place to get around in. One gets used to it. I may be socially isolated, but I am not lonely. Many experience loneliness because their relationships do not meet their needs. My academic qualifications tend to put me out of touch with many. There is little in common. Small talk will not engage me and there is an increased isolation wherever there are elements of social exclusion in our society. People can be very small-minded and expect you to gossip, believe the popular myths or false news of the day. However, everybody is learning to handle social interaction and social distancing during the coronavirus pandemic. People with autism spectrum disorder like me have often had to deal with social isolation forever. It gives us a unique perspective and familiarity honing strategies that could help the rest of those interested cope. I tend to think visually and I have synesthesia. I see noise in colour or pictures. Some noisy, noises are overly aggressive and I have meltdowns. People leave me alone. A prominent characteristic in many of us with autism is social communication differences. I misunderstand a lot of jokes, particularly the ones at my expense, because I do not understand the body language of others. Many have been surprised, apparently, when I have gone away because I have said as a joke, go away! The problem with that one is I was brought up by a lousy parent who did a lot of yelling. All I could see was muddy colours and horrible noises lashing out at me. So, if I think you do not want me around, I will just go. And I move extremely fast. A skill I learned when my own family did not want me on their terms. And schizophrenic mothers with paranoid delusions do not make any sense. The world does not always make sense. When was it ever different? However, by me slowing down and listening, I glean more fully, understand what another person is saying. Especially when I sense people are not being honest with me. One should keep to a flexible schedule, make to-do lists and keep occupied. 
Stop depending on others for constant confirmation and direction. Everybody is learning that the world under social isolation requires discipline. As if we were living under war conditions. Living under quarantine is nothing new. People forget too easily the other pandemics humanity has endured. I disagree with those that suggest COVID-19 is different. There is still HIV. So learn what it means for one. My independence annoys many. I find a lot of people do not like me. Too odd. Not the right fit. Easy to ignore because I do not respond in a chatty way. Tough. Go away. Instead, I'm growing a white garden, making pictures and planning a post-pandemic move. Happy at my end of the sand pit. Robert, thank you for listening.